Greetings to all of you, my sisters and brothers in Christ. I think we would all agree that we're living in some very unsettling times. And there are many reasons why you and I and many, many people around the world are experiencing some fears and concerns in light of this global pandemic that we've come to know as the coronavirus. First of all, I just want to assure you and all of the people of our diocese of my ongoing prayers for you, and certainly to encourage you to pray for and with one another, for those who are suffering, for all of our healthcare workers, for our civic leaders who are working overtime to help to protect us, for all those especially who are at special risk. We all need to be taking the normal precautions that we've all been advised uh, that we should do in these kinds of situations, but also to try to keep calm and to remain hopeful. There have already been a number of liturgical guidelines that uh, we as the diocese have pro provided for all of our parishes in terms of steps to try to take to make sure that we're all kept safe when we come together for Mass. But at this time, I do want to uh, alert everyone to the fact that I am granting a general dispensation from the obligation to attend Sunday Mass uh, for those that feel the need to stay at home, if that would be something that would be for your spiritual and physical well-being. But at the same time, I also want to uh, assure you that uh, all of our regularly scheduled Masses will continue to be celebrated and everyone is welcome to participate and we will continue to observe all of the normal precautions. The celebration of the rest of the sacraments, the celebration of the sacraments of penance and baptism and marriages and anointing of the sick, uh, all of those sacramental moments that are necessary for all of us will continue to take place as well, following the normal precautions and guidelines. In addition to Mass and the sacraments, we've taken a number of other uh, precautions and proactive steps as well. The pastoral visits that I was scheduled to make to many of the parishes and collaboratives during this season of Lent and beyond, We've suspended the ones that are scheduled for this season of Lent and we'll reevaluate at the end of Lent and see where we stand. Uh, all other diocesan sponsored events during this time have either been canceled or rescheduled. And any large group gatherings uh, should be rescheduled. Uh, the guidelines that were being given is no more than 250 people together at this particular time. So um, we ask the pastors in particular to be mindful of whatever parish activities, non-essential parish activities that we should be reconsidering. But while we take all of these different precautions and try to respond uh, reasonably to the concerns that we are facing, we also need to keep strong and active in, the, in our faith to maintain that vibrant prayer life that we need to have in our relationship with God. I would also just encourage you to uh, be mindful of the needs of your family members, your neighbors, your fellow parishioners who might have special needs and, and uh, requirements during this time in particular uh, to reach out to, the, to them in a helping hand in any ways that you're able to do that. Obviously, we will continue to monitor and to make modifications to any of these uh, situations as they may come up. But these truly are unchartered times that we're facing. This Lenten season is perhaps one like none of us have experienced before. But the fact is, this is Lent, and during Lent we're called to reflect, to turn uh, back to God, to repent of our sins, to do whatever it is that draws us closer to God and to one another. So let us uh, pray for one another. We pray for God's graces to help keep us moving forward in our journey of faith uh, through these times of confusion and uncertainty, but also knowing that Jesus is always leading us uh, to the cross for sure, which is the sign of victory over sin and death, but even beyond that to this new life that we are preparing to celebrate at Easter. God bless you all.